Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how I have created this beautiful customer satisfaction dashboard in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of this dashboard wherein we are showing the total tickets, average satisfaction score, average resolution time in hours, total resolved ticket and here we are showing the average response time. We are showing some other charts also like total tickets by the status and the SLA breach by the month and here we are showing the SLA breach overall and we are showing here number of tickets by issue type and here we are showing the number of tickets by month so you can see the monthly trend here we have given few slicers on the right hand side for region channel issue type department and status and you can just click on any slicer to filter the data as you click automatically it will show the relevant data you can see the every chart will be changed and the top section of these numbers also will be changed you can just take any another uh, slicer okay accordingly it will be changed now on the left hand side we have given the page navigation in the page navigation you can just click on the another button to go to the channel performance page just click here so it will take you to the channel performance page and here we are showing the average satisfaction by the channel in the channels we have the email phone social media in person and chat so we can see we are getting the high satisfaction score from chat and here we are showing the total number of tickets by the various channels and average response time by the channel and this is the SLA breach by the channel okay and you can again select any slicer here accordingly whole dashboard will be filtered all right now we have created some other page also you can just go to the regional inside to see the region wise data we have taken here five regions like south east central west and north we are showing here average satisfaction score by the region and here we are showing the SLA breach percentage by the region and this is total tickets by the region and again you can filter the data as you want just click anywhere the data will be filtered okay now let's click on the next slicer next page and here we are showing the departmental analysis so this is the department wise we have here five different departments like billing product sales support and retention so here you can see we are showing this rating chart to show the average satisfaction score out of five and here we are showing the total tickets by the department this is the sla breach percentage by the department and average resolution time by the department so you can see in the retention we are taking very less time okay and again you can filter the data as you want just click and then you can see everything is filtered if you want to see the information for a particular region just select that region then you can see we can see all the information here let's click on the last one that is uh, issue type and regulation and here in the issue type and the regulation we are showing the various issue type like billing issue cancellation issue general inquiry techniques uh, technical support or feedback and then we are showing the total tickets by the various issue type SLA breach percentage by the issue type and average resolution time also by the issue type and now if you click on any region then you can see we are seeing the data for that particular region or for a particular department or by the channel you can just click here and you can just use the scroll to see for the social media also okay now you can quickly go to the another page using these navigation so it's ready to use dashboard now i will show you how you can access the data of this and how you can update your own data and you can simply refresh this dashboard to see all the insights of your customer satisfaction data so you can just go to the file and just go to the options and here you can go to the advanced and just scroll it down just check this so seat tab and click on ok now at bottom we have the various seat tab like overview channel performance regional insights departmental analysis issue type and regulation and here we have the 
data tab in the data we have ticket id customer name region channel issue type department status and then we have here response time resolution time average uh, total satisfaction score out of five and then here we have the date and first uh, response meet SLA or not we have used here true and false and resolution meet SLA or not then SLA breach we have put some calculations uh, and then month and year and in the last we have total tickets just to create some calculated field in the pivot now i will show you the various pivot tables which we have created to create this whole dashboard so what we have done we have taken a support sheet in the support sheet you can see we have the various pivot table so we have created the pivot table for the overview page and these are all the tables pivot tables you can see we have created to create the charts on the overview page as well as the cards like you can see on the top section here and these all charts also then we have created the other pivot tables on the channel performance page so we have put here a separation like now these pivot tables are for the channel performance now the next one we have here uh, regional insights this one so we have created these pivot table for the regional insights then next is the departmental insights so you can see that departmental insights and in the last we have here that is issue type and resolution this one so we have created the pivot tables here also all right so that is how we have created this all the pivot tables so now when you want to update your data you can simply delete this data from here and you can paste this data using don't delete the headers headers would remain same so you have to use the same format otherwise you have to customize this as per your requirement if you have some new columns in your data so that is also possible and once you paste your data here you can just go to the data tab and just say the refresh all as you click on the refresh all automatically whole dashboard will be refreshed according to your data now I will show you how we have created few charts uh, here like we have created this filled circle chart so I can show you that one also as well as how you can create this type of cards also. So let me add a sheet here and uh, what I'm going to do I will just go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here. This is the normal Excel shapes so what you can do you can just go to the review and just unprotect so that will be unprotected without any password you can see in the back end we have a, a normal excel rectangle this is another excel rectangle you can see and this is another shape here this is the all shapes and the charts we have placed to create this dashboard so you can simply use the rectangle from here just go to the insert and shapes and let's take this big size rectangle like this and then you can fill the color whatever you want so let's say i want to take this light color here and then you can just insert a small rectangle like this let's take the white background color for this remove the shape outline or you can take the light gray outline if you want so you can create the card like this here we have created and make sure you are taking the outline bit as half point if you want to take little shadow effect you can take like this and once this is ready you can just insert a text box here so go to the insert and text box and drag the text box here click on the outline of the text box and go to the formula bar press equal to and then we will go to the support sheet so in the support sheet we have created here few charts you can see few tables and uh, to create the chart so what you can do you just click on this total tickets and just hit the enter now just align this center center and let's skip this here you can change the color let's say i'm taking this color here make this bold slightly bigger and just make the copy of this but before that make sure this outline should not appear so just go to the save format save outline just say no outline save fill just say no fill make this duplicate press ctrl d and you can just place this here 
now press equal to go to the support seat and just click on the value and just hit the enter so we can see that now we can take this formatting just click on the format enter and just click here and we can make this slightly bigger so that is how we can create the cards now if you want to create this type of uh, filled circle chart so we can create that for example in the departmental analysis we have this third chart so let's go to the support sheet and here in the departmental analysis we can just see that so this is the departmental analysis and the third chart we have created the fourth one this one so here what we have done we have taken a calculated field also like a breach we are taking here the average of this and uh, or we have just created the calculation for this okay and let me show you from the starting so let's say this is the data and you can just go to the table design and just click on the summarize with pivot table and just click on ok so we are creating on the new sheet let's say i'm taking here department and just uh, put in the rows now we have created a calculated field so let me show you the calculated field for the sla breach sla breach is the sla breach count divided by total tickets so in the data if you see we have created two column the first one is the SLA breach this one column O 1 and 0 so on the condition we have put that and here we have put 1 everywhere okay to calculate the SLA breach percentage on this sheet so we can take this SLA breach percentage here and just double click here go to the number format take here percentage one decimal point then we have created another another calculated field that is the max sla breach so maximum sla breach we can say 100 percent so let's take that here move this here and just double click and just number format number one decimal it should be percentage okay now we can just insert the chart so let's go to the view first and uncheck the grid lines from here so first let us insert the normal 2d cluster column chart now as we insert the chart we can see some extra buttons here that is the part of the pivot chart so you can just go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and just say hide all we don't need this sla breach and max sla we know the maximum is the 100 percent so this should be the maximum sla breach and this should be the actual sla breach so we can remove the region from here we can remove the grid lines also okay and you can remove this axis also now let's insert some shapes so let's go to the insert and go to the shapes and we will insert the oval shape this one and simply click here as you click it will take the default size 2.54 centimeter and same width and height so let's keep it as it is and you can fill the color whatever you want let's say i want to take this color so i'm taking this one take this same outline okay so the outline and the fill color is the same just right click go to the format shapes here we will go to the effects and we will go to the 3d format in the 3d format take the top bevel as this one round and uh, width take here 36 and height also take 36 so when you take the height and width 36 now just look at this shape it is looking like a solid ball okay now let's copy this and paste again and in the second we will take the safe fill as no fill so we have only outline here okay now copy this and just put on the uh, this max part just select the max sla breach and just paste that here now copy this one and paste on the actual sla breach okay so we have pasted this here just right click on the first one go to the format data series and go to the fill and line automatically picture and texture fill is appearing because we have pasted a uh, shape there so just scroll it down and here it is stretch just select here stack and scale width and we can take here unit per picture so we have the maximum unit is 100 percent right so i'm saying just take the 20 percent unit which is 0.2 okay and just hit the enter per picture so that means it will create five pictures or five balls there because 
it has maximum SLA breach is 100% and we are taking 20% for each picture. Okay. So same thing we will repeat here and just say stack and scale width and just take 20% which is 0 0.2 and just hit enter. All right. Now just click here, right click, go to the format data series and just reduce the cap width slightly and series overlap just take 100% and change the gap width again so that shape can be look perfect all right so this is looking good now you can see this chart is looking like this now you can add the chart title also so you can just put the chart title whatever you want and just click here on this green part if you are not able to select you can select this from here also as well as from the design from the format also from this so you can select the sum of SLA breach, not the max. Okay, just select this. So that is selected. Just right click, just go to the uh, this plus button and just add the data labels. So we can see the data labels here, you can just make them black and bold. Alright, so that is how we have created this chart. Friends, if you want to learn more about the other charts and the dashboard, how you can create such type of dashboard, pivot tables, you can join our Udemy course. We have given the link in the video's description box. We have, we have explained each and everything in detail and we have given all the practice file in that course. From the pivot table creation, calculated field and everything and how you can create the advanced level of chart like how you can create the battery chart, container chart and the some other charts also as well as how you can create the beautiful dashboard. So please join our course to learn more about this. So that's it in this video friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching